lights are on, so we have to behave. Um, welcome all, I'm Monty Kaysberg, and um, it's a great honor. It's, it's a wonderful thing to have these people, these experts, in one place at one time, so you can kind of grill them. And today we're grilling cheese with uh, James Cook. How many of you know James? He's been here, how many years have you been in Seattle? For quite a long time. Well, it's been years. about uh, 11 years now. 11 years, and uh, many of us first met and fell in love with James down at De Laurentiis when he was in charge of the cheese down there, and then to our great joy and delight, he now has his own company on 2nd Avenue. I don't know how many of you have been down. Uh, we're gonna, this is gonna be obviously a very fast little chat with James, but I encourage you to, not today, because he's gonna have to take off after the seminar, but when you have a chance, go down to 2nd Avenue, to his shop on 2nd Avenue. It's a, an incredible educational experience, because whenever I walk in there, usually with friends, we have a cheese in mind, and he's so honest, he'll go, well, I have that cheese, but try this cheese. And so it literally becomes, you know, a 10, 15, 20 minutes, sometimes longer, cheese seminar of our own. And so I really encourage you to go down and talk to James. It's a wonderful thing for the holidays, obviously, cheese. Um, but today, we're going to be talking with James about raw milk, but I encourage, like I say, any other questions. We put his business card on your chairs, so you know where to find him. And uh, also, they have a booth here. They have some print material that you can go pick up after the seminar. But once again, as soon as we're finished here in about 15, 20 minutes, we're gonna have to push him out the door for his next appearance. So, um, do you wanna talk a little bit, give a little overview about raw milk, since that's what we're certainly, gonna hear certainly. more? Um, I'm gonna start just explaining raw milk cheese. Uh, Raw milk cheese is nothing to be scared of, folks. Let's get that through. I mean, we have hundreds of thousands of um, chicken poisonings every year. I mean, maybe we have two cheese mishaps. So. Compared to chicken, right? Right, compared to chicken, that is. But, you know, the thing is, raw milk cheese is a natural product. We've eaten it for thousands of years. Uh, it has all the enzymes, the amino acids, everything your body wants. And there's a thing, you know, I get this question at the shop all the time, and what the question is, is, uh, you know, how come, you know, like, the French, say for instance, eat a lot more cheese than us, but they don't have an overweight problem. And mine didn't come from cheese either, so, but anyway. <laughs> But uh, the thing is that, uh, you know, we have an enzyme in our stomach that's from mother's milk, right? I mean, that's what broke down in our milk. If you eat a natural cheese, there's an enzyme in there, and you dispel 96% of the butter fat. That's the secret. It's not the wine. Oh, darn. I thought it was the but, but you know the thing is when we when you pasteurize cheese, not only do we just like burn out all the microflora, but just the flavor. You know, uh, you know when you eat pasteurized cheese, well, I just don't do. It, but you know, uh, the thing is, it's dead matter. It doesn't have that enzyme. So when you know you got a Mickey D, and you got a little plastic piece up there, you know it. When it goes into your body, it's not natural. It's not a real product. So what happens is, it stays there. Hence, you get all the fat. Because your body isn't gonna break it down, it just throws it aside. You know where it goes. So the, the thing is, that's why I say eat raw milk cheese, you get more flavor. You don't, you know, you can go and buy some pasteurized cheese, but all you're buying is blandness. It doesn't matter how big that block is for five bucks. I mean, you can eat the whole block if you want, but you're not going to get any more out of it. You know, so this is a, this is the thing. It, it's a lot. Uh, so I don't really eat much cheese as you may all think, but if I have one nice little slice of something that's full flavored, nice glass of wine, it's perfect. You know, and it's just like to learn that. You know, the other thing is too uh, with raw. You know, raw milk cheese is all natural. There's a lot of goodness in there. Your body will break down the butter fat. Don't be scared. Uh, you know, you're also welcome to come down and taste. I, I do this at the shop too. But uh, the other thing is, you know, cheese in a supermarket is like 70% water content. 
No, it's wrapped up in its little deathbed. You know? It doesn't look very natural, does it, for a product that's been thousands of years. But anyway, so it's in there in the straight jacket, see? And the thing is, it's, they want it that way. They want file crack. You know, a cryo... Cryo... Cryo...